Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am absolutely convinced without question that I have the best subscribers in the fragrance YouTube space without question because today's video was made possible by my subscriber, Steve, who sent me this fragrance I'm gonna be trying out today. So I am truly appreciative of that. Thank you so much, Steve. Uh, Steve's from Canada and he sent me this fragrance to try. I'm really excited to do that. It's a cheapie. My expectations for every cheapie that I try is not, you know, that high, I guess. I just, you know, it's hit or miss, right? With a lot of inexpensive fragrances, but I trust Steve's nose. And he said that he thinks this smells fantastic. So I'm excited to get it on skin. Uh, and I'm not wearing anything today, so I'm gonna put it right on skin and see what it does. Let you guys know what it smells like, if it smells like anything else. I'm gonna kind of let the day go by a bit and wear it and let you guys know how projection is, longevity, that type of thing. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and talk about the scent. So right off the bat, the name of this fragrance sparked my attention. The scent we are talking about is Gianfranco Free. Ferre, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Fougere Italiano. So... Fougere Italiano. With a name like that, I mean, it really can't miss. So <laughs> let's get this out of the box, check the um, what the bottle looks like. So here you have the presentation, and I actually really like this. I, I It reminds me a little bit of something like um, the type of like bottle that Pacific Rock Moss is in. It has this sort of silver plate here, and... Nice little 50 ml bottle, juice is blue, blue cap. Yeah, the, the cap even has a little bit of weight to it. Let's check the atomizer. Nice, not too bad. Um, when I open the box, wow, okay. When I open the box, wow, this is, uh, hmm, very fresh. I'm picking up lavender, woods, citrus. Uh, wow, this is really nice. This reminds me of something. Uh, I can't, I'll think of it. Let me get this on skin. Um, wow, okay. So Steve was saying that he got this at essentially like a drugstore in Canada where he is. So he said it's the equivalent of like CVS here in the States. And when I researched this scent online, just in terms of pricing, it said that it was, one website had it for like $19, I think, for the 50 ml, another for around 30. So you're definitely in cheapy territory there. Okay. Wow. Lots of citrus, very fresh, it smells, surprisingly authentic in terms of quality. Uh, I was not expecting this for such an inexpensive fragrance. You have that clean lavender coming through. It smells a little bit uh, soapy, but really sort of elevated in the sense that this would be an ideal office fragrance. So, and you could, I imagine this being dressed up. This is reminding me of Carolina Herrera's 212 Men. That's what this is reminding me of. I, this, it's on, on in the air, it really reminded me of it. Off skin, it's a little bit more citrusy. Wow, this is really nice. I was not expecting this. Uh, not that I don't trust, as I said, I do trust Steve's nose. Uh, he's made some recommendations in the past, but this one, I'm always, you know, this is why, guys, you cannot listen to people who tell you that, well, you shouldn't be disappointed knowing you bought a cheap fragrance and it didn't last or it didn't smell great. It's crap. You do not need to spend a lot of money to smell great. That's number one. Are there really expensive fragrances that smell incredible? Yes. Are there really inexpensive fragrances that smell incredible? Yes. Both can be true. So... Let's get that right out of the way. I talk about all fragrances on this channel. 
cheap or expensive. If I like them, I'm going to talk about them. And this one's really great. It, it almost smells like uh, fresh cut grass too. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of that as well. A little bit earthy, reminds me of springtime. This would be probably a perfect springtime scent, summertime, warm weather. It's probably not going to hold up great in the super cold weather, but it is versatile. You can wear this wherever, whenever, without question. Performance, I mean, I can't speak to that. I'm going to wear this for a little while. For a couple hours, I'll see how long it lasts, see if, how much it changes. But my guess is performance is probably going to be around average uh, just because of the notes in here and how it lends itself to sort of those warmer days. You know, I had to grab my 212 Men because it is reminding me a lot of that scent, and I'm going to compare them next to each other, just the openings and see how close they are. But I can tell you right now, they smell similar. Um, okay, so the 212 Men is a little bit more metallic on first spray. If I'm being 100, <laughs> the Fougere Italiano was a little bit more settled in immediately. So here on the 212, I'm getting a little bit more metallic synthetic tinge to it just in the opening that settles down really quickly though this does have a sharp lavender note in it and much sharper than what i'm finding in the fougere italiano but they do feature lavender in both of the fragrances the fougere italiano is becoming a little bit more woody on my skin and some of that lavender is sort of taking a back seat now yeah and 212 men it's much more prominent it's more aromatic, but uh, for the most part, they are in the similar style of fragrance, similar scent DNA, although they do have their differences for sure. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. I I think it's really nice. Uh, let's, I'm going to wear this. I'll jump back. You guys won't see the time difference, but uh, I'm going to, I have a little bit of office work to do. I'm going to do that, have this sit on my skin for a few, and then let you guys know my final thoughts. A few moments later. All right, guys, so it has been a couple hours since I first sprayed this and it has changed a bit. My feelings are the same. I really like this fragrance. It does have, uh, also it reminds me a little bit of Mr. Burberry's Indigo. It has this sort of sage minty vibe to it as well. So it definitely has those aromatics as this settles in and dries a bit. And it remains woody and you still get that lavender. So that it's still that clean kind of soapy feel. Really nice fragrance for the price. So if you are on a severe budget and you're able to find this one for under $30, I think this is a nice grab if you're trying to replace something like uh, Carolina Herrera's 212 Men. That uh, fragrance is amazing. I love it. I have it on this hand. Still very much, it's still sharper than this. This is a little bit smoother. It almost has a slight fruitiness to it, but you're still getting that lavender. You're still getting those aromatics and those woods. So I believe they also share the note of pink pepper. Really nice fragrance. If you can find it for under 30, I think it's a great deal. The Carolina Herrera 212 Men can be expensive. It's on the pricier side and harder to find. Uh, it, it It's harder to find it, uh, you know, under $40. So yeah, really nice fragrance. Thank you, Steve, for sending this my way. This will definitely be getting somewhere. Really nice scent. Let me know in the comment section, guys, if this is a fragrance that you have tried. What are your thoughts on it? I'd love to know. And if you didn't check out my last video, my last week of the rotation video, the fragrances that I have sitting behind me right there on that shelf, I go in depth on all seven of those fragrances. I don't think you guys are going to want to miss that video. I will link it here. But as always, if you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.